In this video, I'm going to show you how I use a Starrett 709A test indicator with a swivel attachment to indicate a hole in a round part. The way I do it, I use a uh, Jacobs chuck in the spindle and I just snug it in there. Not too tight, it doesn't need to be very tight. Once it's snug, I jog over, kind of eyeball the center of the hole with the spindle. And I don't immediately touch the edge of the hole with the contact point. I kind of see if the spacing is even left to right, front to back. Here's where I show you where the, I kind of eyeball the spacing with the center of the spindle. You do it for the front side and I do it for the side as well. Kind of gives you a good starting point. So your indicator is now way off center. Now I know I'm touching on one side and I'm not touching on the other. So I move the indicator over with a swivel and if it's, Bottoming out on one side, I move the table over till I get some kind of travel all the way around. And I do three sides first, considering that the hole should be truly round. If you do three sides, your fourth side's gonna come out right. On this one here, I started out at negative five thousandths. Making minor adjustments, I made all the other sides read negative five thousandths. About five and a half. There's the front side. Kind of hard to tell with the glare. Is the right side negative five thousandths? And the back side. Pretty easy, pretty quick. Um, most mill operators learn this really quick, first few months. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed watching.